Okay, so we need to talk about the superposition principle, which is basically an idea that we've already been doing. The idea is this. If you have some, like say, yp that solves some second order differential equations, linear equations. So I have y double prime plus py plus py prime plus q plus q of x is some f1 of x. We call this t y p1. Right. So I have some non-homogeneous second order linear thing, and I found a solution to it through some trickery. Right. If I have another particular solution that solves a slightly different right? Like so I have a particular solution that solves my spring with external forcing F1. And I have another thing that solves my spring with external forcing F2. Should it come as any real surprise that if I add those together, they'll solve the spring with external forcing F1 plus F2? Does that kind of make sense? Like, so basically what I'm saying is like, what if I did What if I looked at this where I added the forcings together? My claim is that that thing's solved by adding the two solutions together. Is that a huge surprise in any way? What are the forcings on the springs? Like when we talk about that, like. That's like an external gravitational field, or is that like you bop it with a hammer. Or something? Yeah, or if you whacked it with a hammer, or if you like. Have a motor making a spring. Yeah, or if you had a motor moving something, or if you had a spring on a spring. What's that? Why is there not uh, twos on all the? Yeah. Left side. Yeah, that's actually a really good question because it looks like the way I obtained this equation, right, was yeah. by like. Straight down. Yeah, right? Okay, so. Or aren't they different? Like, the P of X in the first one is different from the P of X in the second? P of X is, the P of X and the Q of X have to be the same. Okay. Yeah. If the P of X and the Q of X aren't the same, you're totally host on that. Okay. okay, but why, why there aren't adding, or why there aren't twos on everything? So like, take this equation, Propose this as a solution and let's check. Right? So I, I'm going to take my solution and how am I going to check that my solution solves something? Uh, I could give that a rip. Let me, yeah, so let me say I already have them solved. How would I check that this thing solves this differential equation? Say that y y one plus y two and then plug it in. Yeah, so let's just plug this in as a solution, right? What's up? For the most part, is yp1 and yp2, when we add them together, are we just basically going to be increasing our coefficients for the most part, or is that not going to be the case? So the, the most obvious example for this, like the one that I keep doing and I haven't even told you, is that usually I have f1 is 0, right? And f2 is f. And then I have the homogeneous solution and the particular solution, oh. right? You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Like, that's basically what this thing is. This is just a little ramped up, saying like, oh, well, it would work if you had two particular solutions. You could add them together. Right? So say, say these are actually particular solutions, and then we solve the f1x plus f2x. For a general solution, you would still need the homogeneous stuff. Yeah, and if you wanted a general to make a general solution for something like this, you'd still need the homogeneous part. Oh, we'll do an example in a second. So let me just play with this for a second. If you differentiate yp1 plus yp2, what do you get? 
Like if I think, okay, y is going to be y p1 plus y p2. Yeah, y1 is just going to be y p1 prime plus y p2 prime, right? Okay, what's y double prime going to be? Same thing, just double prime. Okay, same thing with double prime. Y p1 double prime plus y p2 double prime. If you take that and shove it in over there, you get, sorry, star, oops, this one, star, you get yp1 double prime plus yp2 double prime, right, like that's your y double prime, plus p of x times uh, yp1 prime plus yp2 prime yp1 prime plus yp2 prime plus q of x times yp1 plus yp2 yp1 plus yp2 and then you can use distributed and associative right to yeah and then you might notice like hey this yp1 double prime and this p of x yp1 prime and this q of x yp1 that's that first equation, All right? So that's like star one, and we call those star one and star two. So the underlying bits are, if I group those up, y p one double prime plus p of x, y p one prime plus q of x, y p one. And then I also have the un underlying stuff, right? So I've got y p two double prime plus p of x, y p two prime plus q of x, y p two, right? And then this whole thing and this whole thing are stuff I know about. The first half is F1 of x, and the second half is F2 of x. So why isn't there a 2? Like back to the beginning question. Because I didn't add these two equations together to get this result. I was using linearity of the derivative. And the thing I was using was that the derivative of the sum of two functions is the sum of the derivative. Okay, so that makes sense.